generation replacement for the Series 2 Leopard tank. In this new generation of tanks, Rainmetal emphasizes high automation in the Fanter, this is demonstrated by the use of an automated ammunition handling system for automatic ammunition loading. This concept contrasts with conventional Western designs which still use a human loader to load ammunition. That way, the Fanter will only have a crew of three, consisting of the driver, gunner, and commander. Regarding protection, the Panther can be considered complete. The KF-51 Panther has three layers of protection, passive, reactive, and active. The innermost layer consists of all welded steel armor covered by passive armor modules. The second layer consists of sensor-based reactive armor, while the last layer consists of the Rain Metal Active Defense System ADS, an active protection system or APS, that Rain Metal claims is capable of protecting against kinetic energy projectiles and anti-tank guided missiles or ATGMs, which usually targets the position of the turret roof or tank turret. Besides that the Panther is also equipped with a Top Attack Protection System or TAPS. On the main armament side, the KF-51 will have lethal combat power equipped with the latest generation Rainmetal RH-130L-52 gun, a 130mm caliber Future Gun Systems or FGS smoothbore cannon, and is supported by the ability to load automatic ammunition or autoloader. The autoloader consists of two rotating drum magazines of 10 rounds each. So a total of 20 bullets for the main weapon are stored in the autoloader. During testing, this tank managed to fire three bullets within 16 seconds and the maximum rate of fire can be around 10 rounds per minute. Rain Metal claims that the gun is capable of delivering between 18 and 20 megajoules of energy to the target and has an effective range 50% further than other 120mm Rain Metal tank guns. The gun uses the newly developed APFSDS ammunition and programmable airburst ammunition. The secondary armament consists of a coaxial 12.7mm machine gun, mounted in remotely controlled weapon station. This weapon follows the movement of the gun barrel. To deal with drone attacks, Rainmetal also installed a remote control weapon station or RCWS named Natter, using a 7.62mm caliber weapon as an